Welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. It's day 14 of Powerful. So we're halfway through. We've been using the band more or less every day. Yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting. Somebody challenged me there, uh, challenged, asked me, are you really going to use the band for the month? Do I really have to get this band? And uh, I was like, yes, yes, I'm using the band every day. And now, I, yeah, it's amazing. I, I'm rebelling against the band. I'm rebelling against the band. But I will return to it Monday morning, um, the next two days. Today and tomorrow, there will be no band. You will need a wall today and the floor tomorrow. Um, so if you come stand, if you have a broomstick, that's amazing. So if you typically balance with your hand on the wall and you have strong balance, then go get your broomstick. Go now, go, go, run, get your broomstick. Um, Cause actually it's much more, you have to stabilize much more when you're using your broomstick. Um, I like calling it a broomstick. <laughs> and um, so, yeah. And if you, if you find that you wobble a lot or that you need more support, then use the wall definitely. Okay. Um, so come stand on your mat and, oh, I know, um, so next month, I kind of have a plan. It's going to become, it's going to become, it's going to be called Nourish. Uh, this might be the picture. I might do another photo shoot, but Nourish uh, is going to be the plan for November. What nourishes you in your life? What nourishes your soul, uh, the deep of you? Um, and yeah, just cultivating practices around deep, wholesome nourishment in our lives. Um, so that's the plan for November. And uh, today we're going to be standing and balancing. So great, come. So standing on your mat, just find your ground. Maybe close your eyes and feel your feet on the floor. Just let yourself arrive into your body. And as you stand there, you know, yesterday we played with which foot is connected to the line of the weight of you. So just notice without any judgment, without changing it, which way does your weight travel down into the ground? Does it travel down to the left leg easily? Or does it travel down into your right leg easily? Or is it a, both? So just keeping your eyes closed and just lean into the right leg, right hip. Both feet are on the floor, but you're just leaning a little bit towards that side. What should I do? Oh, microphone. Hmm. Interesting. Built in. Let me just turn off and turn on the microphone for a second, and then I'll see if that works. Should be working let's hope okay great um so just tilt your weight from side to side and slowly travel towards the other side towards the left side and for me when i travel to the left there i feel a lot less stability less ability to lean my weight that way so just do that a few times lean towards the right does this feel normal and comfortable lean towards the left does that feel normal and comfortable? Nice. So just begin to roll up and down along your spine. And as you go, so there, as I was moving, I discovered that I'm more in my right leg. So now as I travel up and down, I'm going to focus on bringing more weight into my left leg. Reach your arms wide, reaching up. And so as I'm moving up and down right now, I'm sending weight into the left leg. It's like my center of gravity has traveled a little bit more towards the left. But see which way you go, reaching up. So just travel up and down, bringing the weight into that left leg or whichever leg it is that you don't use quite as much. Nice, next time you travel down, bring your hands down to the outside of the left foot. 
and all the way up and then down to the outside of the left foot all the way up one more time each side down to the outside of the left foot how flat can you get your hands up and then all the way down to the outside of the right foot nice and up nice hands to your hips bring your feet a little bit wider roll into your hips And then roll in the other direction. Deep circles. Nice, roll your shoulders, big circles. As you circle, feel the movement of the torso. So the upper back is moving in a deep circle. Just noticing how you do this. How would you exaggerate the movement of your spine, of your head? as you roll your shoulders in a big circle and then roll in the other direction nice so we're going to do spinal waves so drop your chin down so that your head lands somewhere near the front of your chest okay and then draw your chin forward and as i draw my chin forward my bum sticks out a bit and then i reverse backwards so tuck your chin in, drop your chest down or your chin down and then look forward. And as you look forward, let your back arch. <clears throat> so down, so your head's the same height as your chest. Look forward and just see if you can find a flow with that movement. And I'm letting my arms really hang. And I'm just seeing how I would create a wave movement with my spine and my pelvis is counterweighting my torso so as my but i'm not i'm not doing it it's happening naturally keep the weight into your weaker leg or your less dominant leg as you move and then see if we can go the other direction so round your back reverse backwards oh, how would you go backwards oh, i have no idea right now actually i'm confused <laughs> yeah i don't know i don't know how to go backwards anyways we won't go backwards today then <laughs> no backwards today so great so bring your left hand to the wall and when we bring our left hand to the wall your elbow will be bent and beside you okay so i'm gonna have my stick because then i can stand in the middle of my mat so when i'm standing near the wall as well it's the same so my elbow is kind of at a 45 degree angle my hand is flat on the wall if you're using the wall or you're holding the stick. So draw your right elbow down deeply and then lean towards the wall with your right hand. Lean down and then lean towards the wall. And if you're near the wall, then you'll be going up more. And if you have a stick, then you can go across more. I just feel that your arm is staying quite close to your body as you do this. Nice. So now bend your elbow, bend your knee, squeeze down on that side. And as you, so step your feet wide and now reach towards the wall with your right hand. Nice. Bring your elbow to your knee, step wide, bring your hand to the wall. Elbow to your knee, touch. Hand to the wall and then pause. So if you're holding on to your stick, then push both hands towards the left. If you're holding on to the wall, then push both hands towards the wall. Breathe into your belly. Find the length of the right side of your body. I'm pushing down into the baby toe side a little bit more. Finding that sense of connection into my belly. Nice. Bend your elbow. Come back. Cool. So yesterday we did a version of this. So stand a tiny bit further away. So there's a little bit more movement in your elbow. Draw your right hand towards the wall and then lift your left knee up as you do that. Pause. Nice. Bring your right hand forward until you hold on to the outside of your knee. Now lift your chest and twist towards the wall. So I'm holding on to the outside of the left knee. 
and I've lifted the torso and twisted towards the wall. Breathe into your belly. Nice, foot to the floor. Other side, so bring your right hand to the wall. Your, there's an angle of a 45 degree angle there to between your elbow and your upper arm or your forearm and your upper arm. Lean and reach up the wall. Pull your elbow down. Reach up the wall. Pull your elbow down. Up the wall. Pull your elbow down. Nice. So reach up the wall and then bring your elbow to your knee. You got a balance here. And now step your foot away and lean to the wall. Elbow to your knee. Step away. Lean to the wall, elbow to your knee. Step away, lean to the wall and pause. So I'm really pushing down into both feet. I have a sense of pushing my hips forward. And then I'm reaching, reaching, reaching. I'm gonna turn my head maybe a little bit towards the ceiling. And just find the length of the outside of that left side of my body. Deepen your breath into your belly. Really inhabit the full left side of your body. Nice. And drop your elbow down. Step your foot in. From here, step a little bit further away from the wall. Lean towards the right with your lean towards the wall. Come back. Lean towards the wall. Pause. Lift your right knee up. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry. Mm. So slowly bring your hand down to your knee. And then lift your chest and twist towards the wall. I have a sense of really deeply, I'm pushing my hand into that right knee and I'm twisted. So my hand on the wall is really gonna help me twist a bit deeper. Breathing into it. Super awesome. <laughs> Drop your foot to the floor. Come down onto your hands and knees and come rest into a child's pose. All the way down, resting into your child's pose. So whether your knees can be together, your thighs can have a slight distance. I don't know, I place reach down between my thighs. my arms, my head down. And just let everything slow down. Deepening your breath, slowing things down. Nice. So come up onto your hands and knees. So that same movement we did earlier, the wave, we're gonna try it here. So tuck your chin in and then bring your chin down towards your chest. And then drop your chin as far to the floor as you can and then look forward and up towards the ceiling. Tuck your chin in, draw your chin back towards your chest. Drop your chin down and then look way up towards the ceiling. Tuck your chin in and draw your chin back, rounding your back. Drop your chin down and rise. And see if you can find that sense of flow in your spine. See if you can find that feeling of flow. I wonder, can I do the back to front one here? Yeah, so the back to front one, I know it here. So your chin is lifted, you're looking forward and you drop forward with your chin going forward. And then when you're all the way down, then you pull back, arching your back, look forward, lower down, and then pull back. Just find that movement in your body. If you're finding the movement is strong on your elbows, then make the movement less in your elbows, more in your spine. 
You can do it without bending your elbows at all. Nice. Great. Come back to center. And then walk both hands over towards the right side and just round your back and arch your back. So we're doing the crooked cat, rounding your back, arching your back, create movement, rounding your back, arching your back, rounding your back, arching. Nice. Other side, both hands to the left side of your mat, rounding, arching, rounding, arching, rounding, arching. Nice. So both hands in under your shoulders. I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to do this sideways. I think you can see or frontwise. You can see it better. So bring your right knee out to the side. So straight out to the side and then keeping your knee more or less in the same place, turn your foot towards the ceiling and then keeping your knee more or less in the same place, bring your toes to the floor. So foot goes up. I'll do it sideways so you can see. Foot goes up and then foot goes down. Foot goes up, foot goes down, foot goes up. It's a bit like clamshell. Foot goes down and the next time your foot goes down, let it land and then sit your bum back. Come forward, foot goes up, foot goes down, sit your bum back. Forward, foot goes up, foot goes down, sit your bum back. Last one, foot goes up, foot goes down, sit your bum back, pause there. I'm going to come up onto my fingertips and really lean back into that right hip. Nice. Come forward, change sides. So left knee out to the side, foot goes up, foot goes down, touches the floor. Foot goes up, foot goes down, touches the floor. Which way is more comfortable? Which meets the deep of your buttocks in a different way? What, what's interesting about this? Nice. Next time your foot goes down, pause, sit your bum back. Rock forward, foot goes up, foot goes down, sit your bum back, forward, foot goes up, last one, foot goes down, sit your bum back, pause. Nice. Come forward. Come lie on your back all the way down. Both feet to the floor. Sway your knees from side to side. As you do so, let that massage out your spine, your pelvis, your thighs, your buttocks. Nice, arms wide, come into gliders. Knee travels up to the opposite shoulder. Knee travels up towards the opposite shoulder. You just have this deep sense of squeezing, lengthening, moving through the deep sides of your body. Nice. Correct, both feet to the floor. Reach your arms up towards the ceiling. You can interlock your hands if you want. Bend your elbows and draw your right elbow to your right knee. And then lift your bum and reach your right leg long so it's parallel to the left and your arms are at an angle that feels comfortable. Zoomies. Bend your elbow, bend your knee. Zoomie. Bend your elbow, bend your knee. And maybe just lifting your bum off the floor is what you're working towards. Maybe it's you're going as high as possible. 
really pushing into it. It doesn't really matter what version of this you're doing, as long as the version you're doing is wholesome and healthy for you. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It's you working your edge, your ability, your range, your strength, your stability. We're all different. Each side is different. Nice, other side. Draw your left elbow to your left knee. My bum is kind of hovering in the middle of this zoomy bit. And then when I lengthen long, my bum is definitely up, but it never really lands on the floor. It has this kind of hover feeling. One more time. Super. Let's rest on the floor. Bring your soles, your feet together, your knees apart. Pause. Slow things down. Feel into your belly. Feel your diaphragm. Get a sense of your breathing in this moment. The sense of you in this moment. Turn your head, find something shiny. Notice it. And then turn your head in the other direction and find something shiny. Come back to center. Nice. And draw your knees up, squeeze them in. Rock steadily and gently and deeply from side to side. How wonderful. How amazing, guys. That was, that was very yum. That was very nice. Um, so again, just to remind you, November is nourish. What nourishes you? Mm, I like it. I like that. It's almost like, you know, there's this crest of the wave, you know, strength and powerful. And then we, we descend after Halloween into the deep winter. It's like, hmm, how do we, how do we nourish and support ourselves in the deep of this? Um, yeah, looking forward to it. How amazing. So have a, a brilliant day. You know, it's going to be sunny. It's going to be bright. It's going to be beautiful here in Ireland. Um, so enjoy. Nice. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.